What's up, my folks? Uh, before I start this live, I want to uh, tell y'all that uh, I got two albums out. The, uh, two new albums, The Quality Underground and the Exclusive Bangers. I'm playing Exclusive Bangers right now. Y'all go check that out and get ready for uh, get ready for uh, two more Trapology out too. So you know, fuck with that. But uh. I got, I got something to talk about for a little bit. It won't be long, though. Uh, something that's kind of pissing me off about the black community and just the black family in general, you know what I'm saying? I'm the type, you know, that want to prepare. I mean, repair everything, you know what I'm saying? Because I know we fucked up as black people. But, you know, it starts with every individual because, you know, how they say it start at home. It actually don't start at home. You know, they can say that, but... I seen a lot of people that come from fucked up homes end up um, becoming something great, you know what I'm saying? So it start individually. So uh, I, I was wondering, what the, why the fuck niggas like that, man? Like, what, what the fuck niggas get this fucked up mindset from? And it hit me earlier this morning. It's because a lot of niggas living by principles. Now, ain't nothing wrong with principles. Trust me, ain't nothing wrong with principles. You just don't supposed to live by principles. You know what I'm saying? We got to live by reality. You know? Ain't nothing wrong with living by reality, you know? There's something wrong when you live by principles because... Motherfuckers then either lost their life or lost their freedom to jail because of principles, man. Now, I know it's a lot of innocent niggas in jail, so I ain't talk about them. I'm talking about the niggas that really did the shit. A lot of them went to jail because of a principle. The nigga disrespected them or this and that, and you know, a whole bunch of bullshit. And. It kind of gets to me because we black people are always living by fucking these principles that don't pay the bills. I can see if, uh, if you do by principle, you get fifty thousand dollars every time. Yeah, go ahead and live by your principle. But now y'all live by principles for free, nigga. You know what I'm saying? If I was living by principles, still I wouldn't be able to know how to how to publish my music, man. You know what I'm saying? I would have been like, nah, I'll do it my damn self and this and that. And been stuck like a motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? So, this is a message to all y'all black people that's wondering how, like, we gonna heal the black community and shit. It's a lot of things. I say first thing first, focus on God. And once you focus on God, he gonna lead you the way you supposed to go. Because, you know, we all don't got the same path. But... I seen a post this morning, it kind of bugged me, and I commented, and um, I had to respond to this lady who ended up agreeing with me, and the reason why I don't like this concept is because a lot of black people forget that even though y'all might feel royal and all this bullshit, you poor as a motherfucker, man, you know what I'm saying, before I get to the post, they said black people only make up less than 1% of the, of America's wealth, still to this day. So I'm sitting there like, nigga, y'all principles kind of fucked up. If y'all would sit there and lose your life, and you ain't even making up 2% of the wealth, man. Like, what the fuck y'all doing, man? So the post was like, they showed a black woman holding her baby, cute little girl, and she was kissing her and shit, and the, the caption was at the top, how can I force you to pay rent? You know what I'm saying? And I don't want y'all to take this the wrong way because, you know, a lot of niggas love taking shit the wrong way. One half is saying you you force your kids to pay rent because you teach them responsibility. The other half is saying y'all just broke as fuck and you need that money for real. So I'm on this side. Because I'm like, if I'm ready to have kids, that means I'm ready to take care of all the responsibilities. Now, I ain't saying spoil your kid, 
you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're teaching them. But if y'all think about it, if your shit together, you and your wife, if your shit together and all the bills paid and you have kids, everything take care of, the fuck they need to pay shit for? Because what I noticed about white folks versus black folks, white people don't force their kids to do shit. And they're going to make it seem like, oh, yeah, that's why white people fucked up and all that. You can say that, but at the end of the day, white people own most of the wealth in America, man. You know what I'm saying? How they able to own most of the wealth in America? And they don't live by the principles we live by. As black folks, we got too many damn principles more than money. We got more principles than assets. You know what I'm saying? This shit retarded as fuck. Like, I don't know who told y'all that shit. But y'all need to stop that shit today. Because, <laughs> you know, I ain't the type that motherfucking put principles over my own financial stability, my own net worth, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my money up first. And then maybe I can focus on some principles. But y'all let be poor, broke as fuck, still talking about some principles. Like, nigga, you can't even afford the principal talk, nigga. Open a rented house and force your kids to pay rent. Nigga, fuck that shit, man. I'm the type, I say, I ain't gonna have kids till I'm financially stable. Like, if I know money coming in, I got my money in and all that shit, then I'm gonna have kids and then I'm gonna teach them financial literacy amongst amongst other things to the point when they, when they reach 18, 19, like they say, they'll have enough money to get their own car, a crib, and go to college at the same time. But niggas got it fucked up. They think you don't teach financial literacy their whole life, then when they reach 18, they supposed to know what to pay, how to pay, where to go to, and all that shit. No. That's the principal shit y'all got fucked up. That, oh, they just supposed to know mindset. No. You can't go to the military and the drill sergeant just look at the new recruits like, oh, they they know what the military is. We ain't got to train shit. Hell no, nah, them niggas train every motherfucker that come in, even the niggas that was already done. You ask my bro right now, he been in the military for four years, going on four years. That nigga had to go to basic training like five times. And then ain't saying, oh, you know, he don't know what he's doing. That's just a part of training in the military, man. You got veterans up in that bitch going to basic training, man. You know what I'm saying? So, black folks, y'all really need to kill that principality mindset off if your net worth or your money ain't adding up, man. Because I, I hate seeing that shit, man. I hate seeing that shit. Niggas always motherfucking got a principle and a and these all these set of rules and they they pockets don't match that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's more struggling niggas than niggas making it. And I had to post it on Twitter this morning. I was like, I'm tired of you niggas. It's like niggas would see one black family that's rich and then automatically think that's them. Stop that bullshit, man. They money ain't your money. You know what I'm saying? They barely got enough, even though they rich as hell. Them niggas still got to do whatever to make that money, you know, pile up. While y'all up here dreaming and got a principality in your mind, these niggas live in reality. You know what I'm saying? And that applies to everything. But I'm really speaking from a musician's perspective because it's, it's the same thing with music. How the fuck I'm expecting to get better at music just because, oh yeah, I know how to make music. I don't need to do this and that. Mm-mm. Everything you do, you need repetition. You need to train. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So you can get better, man. It's kind of like school. How the fuck a teacher supposed to teach? If in their mindset, they think, oh, these are kids, they going to learn. They don't need to learn in my class. The motherfuckers going to be dumb as hell. They ain't going to pass shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how I was able to pass chemistry. Everybody was talking about, oh, that, that teacher hard as hell and this and that. That shit went hard, man. Y'all just fucking stupid. Because she was teaching for real. She might have an attitude. Y'all ain't going to lie. She had a little attitude. 
but I'm used to it. I mean, I'm black. I ain't seen all the attitudes in the world, man. So you're telling me an attitude is going to block you from learning type shit? Now, you're talking about a nasty attitude. You know, some teachers got a nasty attitude. Now, this lady, she was just kind of, you know, just real as hell, you know. She going to let you know some shit. But that's because them bitches love talking. Bitches love talking shit and don't even know how to fucking read shit. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up. I guarantee you, if you had an A in there, yeah, she'll let you talk. Or he'll let you talk, you know. But that's a part of that principal shit. Y'all teaching y'all kids how to already feel like they adults as kids. But don't know how to motherfucking read an essay. You know what I'm saying? That shit embarrassing as fuck, man. And y'all wonder why we out here broke as fuck as black folks. Why the wealth ain't adding up and shit. That's because y'all ass will sit there and trade assets with principals. You know what I'm saying? That shit embarrassing the hell. See, I learned, I broke my damn generational curses, man. What's this? You know, you broke your generation of curses when you look at everybody else and yourself. Like, you look at everything and see what went, we'll see what's wrong and shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the things I noticed this morning. Niggas got principles more than assets, man. Stop that bullshit, bro. Get your money up, man. Get your property. Get your fucking valuables and shit. Get your food up. Get all that shit up for a principal anything. Because for real, y'all sit there be po homeless and still talking about a principal. Oh, I got my principal. Nigga, you ain't got shit. You can't even afford no principals, man. Principal talk should be for people that's making a hundred grand a, a fucking year, man, at least. If you ain't making a hundred grand a year, you don't need to be talking about no fucking principals, bro. Because y'all forget. Y'all be having kids and shit acting like this shit free. Having kids ain't free, dog. Especially a baby, man. How you expect a baby to be well fed, good clothes, clean clothes, baths, and all that shit, and your ass can't even afford to take care of your own self, dog? Because I'm the type, as I stated before, I ain't gonna have kids till I'm motherfucking financially stable. You know what I'm saying? Once I'm financially stable, then I'll consider having kids because I want some kids. I just don't want kids when I'm broke because I don't want to depend on nobody else asking other people, hey, help me do this and do that. Nah, this shit's dead, dog. This shit's embarrassing as hell. You know what I'm saying? So once I have kids and I'm financially stable, they ain't got to pay shit for me, dog, because I'm already teaching them how to pay bills. And, and do they taxes and buy cars and shit. You know what I'm saying? We gonna, we gonna teach them how to do that shit. Fuck all that principal shit. They don't know shit. You ain't teaching them nothing. Then when they get grown, they oh yeah, you're supposed to do it. No. Go ahead and plant that in their mind when they, when they little. You know what I'm saying? And even so, I'm not gonna force my kids to pay me any damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all black ass do that because you broke as fuck. But I'm breaking the generational curses, man. I don't like that shit at all. Because that's why the streets wild as fuck. You got a lot of niggas that got kicked out. And, and bitches got kicked out at an early age. Because they damn parents living on these false principles. Sitting there getting bossed around the day job. Talking about, oh, you got to pay me to live here. And now they done jumped out the poach. Motherfucking in gangs and shit. Bitches got a prostitute they sell to get by. Y'all proud of that shit? Y'all want to talk about, oh, it's so bad, this generation and all that. Where the fuck you think they got that from, man? They seeing a bunch of homeless ass niggas, gang bangers, and prostitutes and shit. You think a nigga gonna be happy seeing that shit, man? You know what I'm saying? And niggas want to know why the black community fucked up. All them celebrities want to get mad when a when a rapper get killed. Like rappers don't supposed to get killed. Not saying they, you know, not agreeing with it, but shit, they human too, nigga. 
They in the wrong place, wrong time. They be owing niggas money, talking they shit. So I'm like, nigga, the, the, the rules don't change for you just because you famous and you got money. But when a rapper get killed, all the black celebrity want to talk about, we are a black community, we got to put the guns down, this and that. And then after a couple weeks of that nigga dead, ain't nobody saying shit else. You popping back on the song. Matter of fact, T.I. just popped on a song talking about, uh, what's the name of that shit? I think Slide. It was something in the name of that shit, some street shit. I'm like, nigga, you was the main one talking about black community, this and that. Now your ass talking about gangster shit on another song. Take off ain't been dead for a month, nigga. So that's to let you know his principles mixed up, but you know he rich, so she, you know, still don't give him a pass. But at least he got money to you know lay back on. I mean, all y'all niggas out there, bro, y'all don't even got shit. Y'all don't even got enough money to pay your rent for two months, man. You gotta wait every check to pay your fucking rent, and then got no got nerve to talk about some fucking principles. You know what I'm saying? As I stated, ain't nothing wrong with having principles. It just don't have more principles than your assets. A lot of y'all don't got shit and want to talk about a principle. You in a rented house trying to force your kids to pay half the rent. Nigga, that's embarrassing as hell. You should be paying mortgages, nigga. What the fuck your mortgage shit, man? And they're going to be like, oh, black people... They treat black people um, wrong in the mortgage thing. Nah, y'all ass got bad credit. You can't afford that shit. I know they doing that shit too, but y'all ain't coming together to fix that shit. So what the fuck? I notice now y'all want to use shit as an excuse when we could have been fixed the shit. It's many ways to fix this shit, but y'all ass, y'all want to complain about it when it don't work out your way. You know what I'm saying? And then y'all see celebrities, they'll buy a mansion and be like, oh yeah, niggas making it and this shit. Nigga, that's they house, not yours, nigga. Nigga sell 100,000 copies of an album. Oh, they selling records. Nigga, they selling, not you, bitch. Nigga selling products and shit. Millions of dollars worth of products. That's they shit, not yours, nigga. Y'all so black, y'all so focused on black to the point you, you got your mind stuck on somebody else's mind. You know what I'm saying? You don't never see white people do that. Jeff Bezos rich is Jeff Bezos rich and Elon Musk rich, rich is Elon Musk rich. That was a ton of too. But you don't never see Elon Musk looking at Jeff Bezos, I mean Jeff Bezos looking at Elon Musk like, oh he's rich, I ain't gotta do shit. He's rich. He's white and rich. I ain't, I ain't never seen no white person do that shit. You know what I'm saying? All the rich white people right now, they are rich on their own accord, bro. Even if they had to snake people and do all this goofy shit. They did what they had to do, and now they fucking rich. Because they ain't sitting there in their mind, oh, Jeff B- Bill Gates is rich. He's white too, so I'm rich too. No. It ain't never worked like that, man. You know what I'm saying? So this video is dedicated to black folks. Basically giving the tips on how to, you know, break your generation of curses. Because uh, as a black man, I got tired of seeing niggas getting mad when I fight off dumb shit. And they all pose. What's funny is seeing two broke niggas fight over broke shit. Or two broke niggas shooting at each other over broke shit. It's funny as hell, but it's also sad. It's sad as fuck, because I'm like, man, all the energy they got against each other could have been used on their talent, man. This nigga could probably dance like a motherfucker, and the nigga he shot probably could motherfucker and fix on cars, don't even know it. Cause they out here living a false ass principle. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck, man? Forcing these kids in the streets. Now they down there 30 out here, got bodies under their belt, 
drugs and shit, get locked up and shit, all because y'all broke ass parents. You broke black niggas living off principles and shit, making them feel bad for existing. I brought you in, I could take you out. Bitch, you take your kid out, you going to hell, nigga. Fuck wrong with your dumb ass. You think they don't remember hearing this shit, man? You know what I'm saying? I'll never tell my kids this shit. I brought you in the world, I'll take you out. Nigga, what the fuck wrong with your ass, man? Fuck a stupid ass motherfucker. God, I need to take your ass out since you said that to some kids, nigga. You just scared because you can't tell that to that nigga that fucked your ass up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all really got life fucked up out here, man. And wonder why the streets so bad and niggas this and that. The fuck else they gonna do? Now that they parents was crackheads. Now they parents out here in church so hard to the point they don't even see nothing else happening. All they up in there focus on the church. You know what I'm saying? You ain't finna go to heaven doing that shit. Jesus was in the streets, nigga. How else are you gonna save people if the people in the church thinking they already saved? You gotta save people out here, man. And to be honest, they don't need saving. They need money. Stop fucking playing, bro. Y'all navigation is off. You see somebody with a broke leg right now, and the first thing you're going to do is try to give them some food. Stupid ass. You don't even know how to diagnose people. You know what I'm saying? We call them people Bible thumpers. Everything is a, a scripture. Like, I ain't got no problem with the Bible. I love God. But me loving God, he, he talked to me, and he let me know. A lot of y'all ass out here retarded. Y'all putting that pressure on God like he the one told your ass to use him as an example for everything. No. You can't use God as an example. He's God. He's floating and stuff. He got he he got heaven. You know what I'm saying? God is God and you are human. Get that in your mind. You you will never be God. You won't even be Jesus. He didn't create he didn't create us to be them. You know what I'm saying? And that's one thing niggas fucked up with the religion. Y'all fucked that up too, cause shit. Y'all out here thinking. I don't I don't even know what y'all thinking to be honest. But whatever y'all was thinking, y'all fucked up everything, man. Out here misdiagnosing shit. Your navigation off. Y'all over here want to use the Bible for everything except your finances. Talking about y'all gods and goddesses. Voodoo ain't bad, but your ass can't even get reparations yet. What a voodoo for reparations. All y'all talking about voodoo ain't bad and shit, bitch. Do the reparations voodoo. It's enough of y'all out there. Fuck you waiting on dumb motherfucker, but you rather do voodoo on motherfuckers who don't want your ass. Weirdo, y'all fucking weird as fuck, man. And y'all wonder why so much crime and shit going on. Bitch, get y'all mind right, man. Break them down generational curses. You know. Took me a couple years to do it, but I fucking did it. You know what I'm mean? saying? I'm I'm over the fence mentally. Might not be financially there yet. But when I get there, I'm going to be good because I done broke them curses, man. I'm not going to waste no money. I'm not going to have people around that don't give a fuck about me. I'm not going to buy no hoe. You know what I'm saying? None of that. I'm, I'm going to be rich forever because I know how to spend my money now. You know what I'm saying? Big money. Not no $20, $30. Hell no, nah, that ain't shit, nigga. That ain't even street money, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I want y'all to understand that we can change our future right now, man. It starts with everybody. It starts with the individual. It don't start with a group of niggas that want to talk about change. Hell no, nah, because some of them in the group ain't good. You know what I'm saying? Fuck groups. Change on your own time. Break your own curses. It took me about four or five years to break my curses. And I broke them hoes. 
I broke them bitches so good. The devil would be coming to me like, nigga, you sure you don't want to see him right now? Nope. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Nigga be trying to fight me in my dreams. And guess what? The angel's going to be there beating his ass. You know what I'm saying? Trying to fuck my dreams up and shit. You know what I'm saying? It don't work no more because shit. I broke them curses. Okay, let's go to... Uh, Go to Quiet Underground. It was exclusive bangers. From the play Quiet Underground. Background music. You already know how it goes. But uh Yeah, man, breaking curses, y'all. Another part of curse too is thinking false mindsets, man. And that's where the Prince Parity talk coming to play, man. Niggas need to get out that Prince Parity mindset, man. You know what I'm saying? Once you get out of that shit, you can see everything for what it truly is. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm tired of seeing niggas struggle, man. That shit's embarrassing, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then people want to know what's going on and shit. Hell. They yeah, ass living out here in fairytale land, man. You up in here thinking you got respect. Nigga, respect don't pay the bills either. Everything y'all talk, niggas, don't pay nothing, man. But but you pay your debt to society when you get locked up for the dumb shit. But when we talking about actually making money, oh, no, y'all ain't got no answer for that. I'm talking about a job. Nigga, them jobs don't pay shit, nigga. We talking about businesses, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And they gonna try to blame it on the white man. Trust me, I don't fuck with white people either, but at the end of the day, my nigga, it's enough niggas to start some shit. It's way more than enough niggas to start shit. So, you can't use white people as a crutch. You can't use the system as a crutch. Nothing. The system didn't stop me from uh, publishing my music, man. Not saying they ain't gonna tap, uh, tap in and try to stop it, but they ain't touched it yet. And even if they stop the shit, guess what? My shit's still on different platforms, which means I'm gonna get paid from this shit forever. Until them platforms crash or whatever the fuck it does, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna still get paid. You know? So black folks, break your curses, man. You can break your curses by living in reality, bro. The reality of America is that a lot of niggas, it's only 0.1% of niggas in America that got wealth, my nigga. That's, that's bad. That's fucked up, dog. And y'all wonder why we got so many damn gangs and crime and, and, and robbers and shit. The fuck else you, and, and prostitutes. The fuck else you think going on? Niggas just doing it for fun? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta play, bitch. Hold on. Okay. People who come to cricket stay with cricket. Cricket is easy. Yeah, man. Niggas need to learn how to motherfucking break eight curses, man. Living reality for a change. It ain't gonna hurt you, man. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't understand what be wrong with y'all niggas, bro. You know? That's how I know I'm different. I, I don't know where y'all came from. Maybe y'all came from another planet. Y'all probably came from a destroyed planet and feeling some kind of way because your planet ain't shit no more. It's nothing but dust and, and crystals up there. You know what I'm saying? It's blow the fuck up. But we on Earth. That bitch ain't, this bitch ain't going to get destroyed till God destroy that mug. You know what I'm saying? So, get real reality. You're on Earth now. 
We got so many beautiful animals out here. Yeah, some animals that'll kill our ass. Yeah. But it's also animals that love us. We got nature. You know what I'm saying? We got food, fruits, vegetables, materials, water, especially water. We got so much fucking water, nigga. I don't even know why we paying for water. You know what I'm saying? But we got air. We got a bunch of trees. You know what I'm saying? Earth is beautiful. Ain't nothing wrong with the planet. There's something wrong with y'all stupid ass. Because every time y'all do something stupid, the planet is still here. <laughs> Talking about some climate change. Now it's some mental change. Y'all get more retarded by the minute. The climate's still doing what it's doing. It's cold as fuck right now, and it's November. It was hot as fuck in the summer, cool as fuck in the spring, cold as fuck in the winter. Ain't nothing wrong with the fucking climate, man. It's something wrong with y'all dumb ass. You know what I'm saying? But once you break them curses, y'all, y'all ass gonna see the truth. Even the dog know over there. You know what I'm saying? That shit's sad as hell, bro. But enough of that. I'm gonna go ahead and promote my shit. Um, that's quite an underground plan right now. Y'all go check that out. I just finished exclusive bangers. Playing exclusive bangers, y'all go check that out. Trapology just dropped, y'all go check that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, two more dropping, I got two more dropping. The Black Princess Edition and the Beat Vault 3, that's gonna drop too. So y'all pay close to the debt, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's basically it, man. Y'all be safe out there, bro.